Hey up everybody, uh, I'm on part three of my um, gas burner testing and injector testing. In part one I had the gas burner on butane uh, and I showed you how I fired the loco up in detail. In part two I moved over to propane to compare the differences and I also tested my friend's injector that I fitted onto this and, uh, after I took mine off. I uh, didn't have much success with that injector so I've cleaned my injector up, pickled it in some vinegar, cleaned it all up, put it back on and I'm going to have another try with the injector uh, and I'm also using the gas burner. So I'm not going to any detail in firing up, uh, if you want to see that go back to me previous video or videos. So uh, let's crack on with this then.
I've just well low cool down and let it cool off and uh, uh, I'm going to have to have a re revisit this I think um, I've had limited success with that again um, like I said I'm only a novice with these injectors so it's a bit of a, a, bit of a learning curve for me uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to change that clack valve and also I've, I've got a bit of another anomaly here that maybe um, I, I don't know, it may be interfering with the the function of the injector, I'll just show you what I mean Right then, let me just throw this into melting pot because I've had limited success with this with two injectors now uh, I, I'm going to change this clack valve and, and try that but I just wondered if this might be anything to do with it because I've put pannier tanks on this loco the, the actual clack valve should fit on the side of the boiler I don't know if you can see it down there there well what I've done I've put a fitting on with a pipe on to, to take it remotely a bit further down under this tank here so I can access it but I've done the exact same thing on the other side but with a double fitting for the hand pump and the actual pump and both them work fine uh, so I'm not quite sure whether that's anything to do with injector not functioning properly or whether it may be just the actual uh, clack valve that's um, not letting it function properly so I think, I think uh, I'll do this logically I'll uh, either change that or make another one I'm not sure if I've got a spare one when I made them, I can't remember, it's that, it's that long back so I'll either put my spare one on or I'll make another and put that on try, the, try a different valve get it steamed up and try again and uh, take it from there um, so yeah, just a bit of an, an anomaly there Right, so uh, I'll call it a day for today then and uh, revisit this so if you found that useful, informative, enjoyable uh, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that and I'll catch you next time then thanks for watching then, bye for now